Hi there. I trust you're enjoying or have enjoyed a wonderful summer vacation or staycation. For parents and children alike, the beautiful summer holiday and period of rest, fun, bonding, shopping is coming to an end. Yes, it's back to school season. Do you know what is special about this back to school season? It's the startup of a new school year. As an advocate of learning and literacy, I know that there's no better time to encourage your children and wards to put in the work required in their academics. This is the perfect time to pump them up with words of encouragement and help them to see that their study time is not wasted, but is contributing and helping them build a solid foundation for their future. There are many things I'm passionate about. One of them is early childhood literacy. And the reason for this is obvious. According to the United Nations, more than half of the children that are not enrolled in school live in sub-Saharan Africa. Worse still, more than 85% of children in sub-Saharan Africa are not learning elementary mathematics and how to read and write. The United Nations recognizes this as a major problem and its fourth sustainable development goal focuses on addressing it by a ensuring lifelong learning opportunities for all from early childhood to adult education b ensuring equity inclusion and gender equality in terms of educational opportunities c ensuring effective learning and the acquisition of relevant knowledge, skills, and competences. D, ensuring the relevance of learning in terms of vocational and technical skills for decent work. Let us play our part so that the African child and our youth, who are the future of our continent, are given quality education so that our continent can be great again. Two, adopting schools within your neighborhood and caring for them. Three, donating your resources to low fee paying schools. Four, investing in skills acquisition training for teachers. Five, advocating for more public-private partnerships in the education sector. I implore you to make this one of the charitable things you're going to do this month. If there's a perfect time to invest in a good cause, it's this month of September, where we are reminded to follow in the footsteps of Mother Teresa, a humanitarian who will never be forgotten for her charitable works. Maya Angelou once said, if people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. For those who are returning to work after the holidays, you are welcome back. I trust that you have been rejuvenated and the time that you had off will translate to increased productivity in your workspace. Speaking about the workspace, I cannot help but express how pleased and impressed I am at the number of women who have recently hopped into the driver's seat in the financial sector. The glass ceilings are being shattered 
and I'm super excited. As a female business leader in Africa, I understand the various hurdles that we face while working our way to the top. And I'm pleased that despite the challenges and gender stereotype issues, women are forging ahead and there's more inclusion and diversity in the boardrooms. I congratulate these amazing female CEOs who have just emerged in the Nigerian banking sector. I hope that their success stories encourage you to dream big as well. If they could do it, you can too. Do you remember the 1 billion Naira Flourish Africa grant that was announced in line with my 70th birthday in July? Well, I suggest you watch this space in order not to miss the kickoff. You never know, you might just be one of the successful ones. Keep flourishing. <laughs>